Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part three of the 1861 live stream by Owen Benjamin titled Choose Your God. People say, don't overthrow your own government because Malik's slaves, like Malik has been contracted for his slaves. If you do not want to be a slave, choose that. And OK, so this is getting pretty intense, but you're getting it. So. What I always recommend people do when talking to a quote unquote libertarian and anarcho capitalist, be very specific. You know, I, um, what did I say here? One second. So, this image here I posted a while ago. This is an actual corner in Los Angeles. We stand with uh, the women of Iran, uh, Masha Amini, to like unveil them right to get rid of their oppression and then right above it is a naked like basically a naked whore all right that's one corner that really exists i did not photoshop this this is a real image that's your path and then even on the- that almost reminds me of, well it doesn't almost it reminds me of um, unnecessary blurs with what was it jimmy kimmel I'm not a big fan of Jimmy Kimmel, but I think it was him who did the unnecessary censorship to where you you block it out and it makes it way worse than the original. And so I don't I mean, could there possibly be a billboard above that where the ladies uh, private parts are viewable? Uh, Maybe this isn't Europe, so I I doubt it. There's a decency laws, but I think. If I was a betting man, I'd bet a dollar saying that her private parts are not viewable and the black is just there for um, sensationalism to make it look worse than it is. Now, do I agree with it? No, I don't. But this is part of his manipulative tactics that he uses. Freaking building. You see the duality of man, the black and the white. Right? Look at that little smiley face. That's a real corner. What exactly do you want to be freed to do? So I say, freedom for what exactly? From what? Free to be your slave? Always ask them specifically what freedom they want and who is stopping them. Usually they just start spiraling and screaming about Epstein's Island and accusing everyone of being a fed. But once they calm down because they're probably vaping meth, ask them again. What freedom do you want exactly and what is stopping you? And then look him in the eye and calmly ask, who is your master? And dude, sometimes they'll straight up tell you. And I'm not even against it. Like I've had real talks with Freemasons and a lot of these guys. And at first, when I used to... Okay, so... He speaks in, like I've already said, half truths, but half thoughts as well. Whenever he says, I'm not even against it. What is he talking about that he's not against? He doesn't clarify. Why? Because he, he, he is the blurred line. There's no clarification for what he's talking about. There's an appearance of good. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. There's an appearance of good, but if you actually listen and pay attention, it ain't. It isn't good. I was like a fledgling truther. I would just think, oh, Freemasons are bad. All these people are just bad. Secret society is bad, bad, bad. And they'll, they'll straight up tell you like some of the, a lot of people want, they want that life and who the hell is going to govern them, right? Like when you do these sins, you know, you end up on a uh, Pinocchio Island. Remember that where you like start getting like the snout of a pig and, you know, but you have to choose it. And when you choose it, like they govern those people. And if those people choose to get out of it. So he he's preaching the, the law of this world. In my opinion, what he's doing, this is one of the reasons why I say that he's Luciferian is because he he is appearing to say something that is good, but really he's getting you to consent to the contract that he is presenting to you by you sitting there, listening to him, unquestioned, not being able to question him or, or his motives or whatever you are submitting yourself to him. And he is in turn telling you 
right now in real time that he is your ruler and you chose it. The whole, um, what was that? The, uh, it's been so long. I've, I've forgotten the terminology, what everybody was using. The, uh, whenever he stole a bunch of money from a bunch of people, painted himself as a savior. At one point, go to Milker Nation. You could watch it. It's a 10 hour documentary. At one point in that 10 hour documentary, he tells you, he tells you exactly who and what he is, who he agrees with. He, he hates the people that listen to him because they're dumber than he is and it's their fault that he can take advantage of them. Then they no longer govern them. Yeah, Clint told us he wants to shit on people. That was great. Yeah, yeah, but you get what I'm saying now. Anarcho-capitalism is a gamma mindset. Yeah, when I, I used to think the government was oppressing me to the point where I'm like, I got to raise my own animals. I got I to gotta grow my own food. Like, I got to like, they're, they're replacing us. I got to have a bunch of kids. Uh, uh, and, and dude, the more I did that, the more I realized that there is no oppression. It's only us doing it. You know, I never have it, problems with the government ever. Hey, Denmark bear. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. So I did a poll. Liber- so where is he at right now? Honest question, because he has preached the, the, the message of self-sustainability have kids, but then he just now undermined all of that. Libertarians that want to ban the FBI because they claim they hurt children and do human trafficking, yet those same libertarians want abortion to be legal and porn be legal, even though porn requires constant human trafficking and abuse. Do you think these libertarians are naive or evil? And most people assume naive. Right. Once you're presented with the obvious reality, though, there is culpability. OK, because sometimes people are like, oh, agree to disagree. Oh, we're just disagreeing. Oh, this is the, there is no debate. If you say oh, oh, if you say that an 18 year old girl who's depressed, she's on pills, she doesn't have any she doesn't know what she wants to do with her life. And five black men pay her twenty dollars so she can get heroin, right? To fuck on camera, that'll now legally be for profit on the internet the rest of her life. You think that is okay? Yeah, okay. Your God is see that. That's not. That's not. <clears throat> He's speaking in absolutes, and that's not what this. That's not how this world works. I don't know anybody that, that would say, no, yeah, that's okay. But I do know people that would say, grown person, according to the, the, the laws and regulations, whatever, you're a grown person. I personally don't think you're a grown person until around 25 to 30 is whatever I think compared to uh, personal experience and science. Your brain is not fully developed. So you're not a fully functioning adult until around 25 to 30, about 27. But with how society and other societies have uh, obviously been around way longer than me, I think about 18 is about whenever you can make, depending on your raising or whatever, your, your environment. But what he just did was he just said, either you completely agree with me or you worship Moloch. And this is what this is what cult leaders do. This is what um, people like Hitler or other leaders have done that want to rule with an iron fist, their thumb over everybody else because they know that they're better than everybody else. They speak in absolutes. They they say, "Hey, well, just because you think somebody has the ability to do that, that means that you think that they should." No, just because you can don't mean you should. This is very dangerous, predatorial language coming from Owen Benjamin. Malik, we have a different God. 
And when you want freedom from Malik, he will put you in a cage. That's what January 6th is all about. That's what all this shit is all about. Okay? If your God is mammon, they he will round you up and keep squeezing you in darker and darker places because he's allowed to. I swear to God. I'm convinced Log Michael Malice and Dave Smith up. No, but they're they're allowed to. Okay. Okay, so w- <laughs> this is He's not saying anything. He literally is not saying anything, but it's, if, if you're passively listening or if you just don't know. And then he reads comments as an out in order not to finish. His, he has not finished an actual statement. He started this by saying, have you ever wondered why there's Bibles in every courthouse? He mentioned Jesus one time, but then he's mentioned Moloch a dozen times. Or more. So here's the thing. I would not flip a switch right now and make America like it was in 1810. Because I I ask these libertarians all the time. I go, you're upset about the FBI. You seem upset. Like that we used to have more liberties uh, in, in Americana past. It's 2024. America's been here since 1776. What year exactly would you prefer? And then they'll be like, well, you know. The- See, but that's not that. That's a stupid question. What year would you prefer? No, this is a continuous growth, growing process. It's growth. We don't want to go back in the past. And I don't, I don't even claim to be a libertarian. I'm more of a centrist. But the stuff that he's saying is just stupid. What year would you prefer? No. What? OK, to be honest with you, if you're asking me. Uh, like I just said, no, this is a growing process. And to be honest with you, I would like every law that is has ever been written that is not backed up by the Bill of Rights or the Constitution to be null and void. And when he's talking about the FBI and all that kind of stuff, me personally, um, it's in, in some moments, organizations such as that have been weaponized as terroristic organizations towards the people of the United States. That's my personal opinion. Why? Because that's what some circumstances uh, tell me. That's what it shows me. Ruby Ridge, Waco, things like that. The FBI was 1906, and the fucking Federal Reserve is 1913. So like, I don't know, 1880? I'm like, oh, okay, 1880, huh? The way you live right now, you'd be hanging. I would almost guarantee you that this is not an honest conversation that he has had with anyone. Because this is stupid. This is a person, the guy on on screen right now, Owen Benjamin, claims to have 147 IQ, claims to be a genius. This is (laughs) exhausting. This is. Oh, my. From a tree. Do you want to know what was illegal in 1880? All porn, all sodomy, fornication. You know, do you want to look at like various taxes, what the government was allowed to do to you in certain situations? Like you have no fucking idea what you're talking to. Access to food, access to medical, access to fresh water, access to retirement, access to welfare. I'm like, would you like to actually look at what life was like back then? People are like, oh, yeah, Sharia is so. It's so easy to, to just make up some bogus conversation that you've had to prove that your ridiculously stupid and self-centered ideas are correct. This isn't a conversation he's had. This is so <laughs> this is so stupid. This is the, and I'm the one sitting here commenting on it. <laughs> I, I pick up on the irony. I do. This is the Texas Go Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.